In the crypto world where everything is championed on being decentralized, I think it's kind of ironic that centralized platforms like Coinbase and Binance pretty much control our entire ability to buy and sell cryptocurrency. Now, I'm not knocking those platforms. They're good platforms. I use them myself. But if we're trying to live up to the goal of decentralization, then wouldn't it make more sense to use a decentralized crypto exchange? Decentralized crypto exchanges are a relatively new idea that's emerged out of the decentralized finance movement. And the most popular option in this space currently is Uniswap, who's up over 700% in the last year alone. The reason that Uniswap is different and better than any crypto exchange that we have currently is because it's fully decentralized and it was created on the Ethereum blockchain, which makes it compatible with ERC-20 tokens and infrastructures such as crypto wallets like MetaMask. Also, Uniswap charges a flat fee of 0.3% for all crypto transactions, which is quite a bit lower than Coinbase that charges around 0.5% to 4.5% depending on the transaction. Also, because Uniswap is a decentralized exchange, it means that users maintain control of their funds at all all times, opposed to a centralized exchange that requires traders to give up control of their private keys so that the orders can be logged onto their internal database rather than executed on the blockchain. By retaining control to these private keys, it eliminates the risk of losing your assets if the exchange is ever hacked. And in a world where hackers are hacking everything, it's definitely a fear. So overall, Uniswap is a lot safer, cleaner, and less expensive way to buy and sell cryptocurrency. Uniswap performs the functions required to make trades happen through two smart contracts. The two smart contracts that they use are an exchange contract and a factory contract. The exchange contract facilitates the trading of coins and the factory contract is used to add new tokens to the platform as needed. The main problem that exchanges like Coinbase or Binance have is liquidity, but Uniswap solves this problem through an automated liquidity protocol that works by incentivizing people trading on their exchange to become liquidity providers by issuing them tokens that give them a share of all the transaction fees accumulated using their pool of money. For easy math, if all the stake money pooled together is $100 and you contributed $10 of that, then you would receive a token that gives you the right to receive 10% of all the transaction fees that are accumulated while your money is staked through their platform. In my opinion, this is really cool because it gives investors the ability to start making some passive income, which will draw more people to the platform, ensuring that Uniswap never has any problems with being able to execute their transactions. With the Uniswap version two upgrade, a new protocol was introduced that allows for 0.05% of every trading fee to be sent to the Uniswap fund, which is used to finance future development on the project. But instead of having that protocol call forced onto users, it is completely optional. It can be turned on or off at any time by community vote. Currently, this option is turned off, but in the future, if they ever decide to turn it on again, then stakers would receive 0.25% of all the trading fees instead of the 0.3% that they were getting before. But in all honesty, I think most investors would be fine with sacrificing a little if it means that the system is going to be better and make them more money. Another interesting thing that we have to factor in is how the prices of the coins are determined because remember, they aren't using a traditional system where the price of the asset is determined by the highest and lowest bidder, but instead they give you instant liquidity even if there is no one ready to buy that coin yet. Uniswap uses an automated market maker system, which is an alternative method used for adjusting the price of an asset based on supply and demand. They use longstanding mathematical equations that work by increasing or decreasing the price of a coin depending on a ratio of how many coins there are in a respective pool. It does this through the mathematical equation x times y equals k and by itself it is able to balance out the value of the tokens being traded on this platform and it ensures that they aren't overpaying for anything. Arbitrage users are another huge factor in helping ensure that the market maker system works accurately. Arbitrage users look for price discrepancies between platforms to make a profit. For example, if something sells on Coinbase for $100 but it sells on Binance for 95, then arbitrage users will buy high volumes of the coin on Binance and then sell it on Coinbase for a profit. This is a pretty low risk way for them to make some quick money. And this is important for Uniswap because it ensures that the pools that the money market system is drawing from are accurate and not over or undervalued. The next big update for Uniswap that will positively impact its price is the release of Uniswap version three, which should be released in the near future. And the biggest change that will most likely come from it is layer two scaling, but it's still rumored of what exactly that will be. Currently, Ethereum's gas fees are making this system hard to use, so one rumor for layer two scaling is that it will be ZK rollups, which will take a lot of the work off of the root chain Ethereum and make transactions faster and less expensive. But as of right now, all we know is that layer two scaling is aiming to fix a lot of the problems associated with the high fees on the Ethereum network so that their system can become better than it was before. Now, this is all great, but is Uniswap worth buying? Well, to be completely transparent with you guys, I'm pretty biased. I 
love the Ethereum network. I love Uniswap. Them coming together is absolutely crazy for me. I'm buying a lot of both. So just remember, whatever I say, it's not financial advice. This is for entertainment value only. Please do your own research. Consult a financial advisor before you make any decisions. And know that I'm coming from a biased point of view. Uniswap tokens are called Uni and they are unique because they are governance tokens, which means if you own them, then you have a right to vote on new developments, changes to the platform, how tokens should be distributed, and any changes to fees that are charged to users. Remember earlier in this video when I said there was a protocol in the last update that gave users the option to be able to put 0.05% of all the transaction fees into a fund for the project's future development. That's an example of something that you could be able to vote on if you own these tokens. To me, it's really interesting because they take a democratic approach to how they run the system. It's pretty unique to say the least and it's probably gonna help them build a really strong community because people feel like they are actually a part of the system's development and that their voice can be heard. Now, a quick background, the Uni token was created in 2020 in an effort to prevent users from switching over to their rival SushiSwap, which is a fork of Uniswap that was becoming popular because it was incentivizing users from Uniswap to switch over to their platform by giving them Sushi tokens, which were governance tokens. It gave them the ability to vote on certain developments that were happening to the project. Uniswap responded by creating 1 billion Uni tokens, and they decided to distribute 150 million of these tokens to their users by giving anyone who had ever used the platform before 400 Uni, which at the time was over $1,000. So as you can see, Uniswap was passing stimulus before it was even cool. Now, I imagine some people probably sold these tokens to make some quick money, but if you kept those 400 uni tokens from 2020, they would now be worth over $12,000 today. So with that said, I hope if you were one of the lucky ones to get 400 tokens that you didn't decide to sell them. All right, enough with all that. Let's break down the price. Uniswap tokens have a price of around $31 with a market cap of about $16.4 billion. And they also have a circulating supply of 521.7 million tokens. In January of this year, these tokens hit $20 billion in monthly volume. That's pretty high they're becoming a lot more popular. I expect that number to only grow as time goes on, especially with this entire decentralized finance movement just becoming stronger and stronger. So with all of that said, I'm personally targeting Uniswap to hit a price of around $45 in 2021 but it could easily go a lot higher or a lot lower than that. Make sure you run your own numbers before you buy anything and don't listen to some guy on YouTube with a camera. But the reason that I think that is because this movement is growing extremely fast. Uniswap version three is getting a lot of hype and oh, don't let me forget, the main reason I think they will have crazy price growth in 2021 is because their logo is a unicorn. No, really, it's a unicorn. I have no idea why and it partly kills me inside that two of our best options in the DeFi space have the name Sushi and Unicorn. But if we have to take a unicorn to fly us up to the moon instead of a spaceship, I'm not really going to complain. I'm going to get on for the ride. So if you're contemplating which one to buy, just remember, unicorns fly, but Sushi doesn't. Now, aside from the bad humor, I think we're going to see some heavy price action as soon as version 3 is released. And that will probably be the main driving force for the price accelerating this year, along with more adoption. But as of right now, we are pretty in the dark about what version 3 will be. We have some ideas, but we don't know concrete details that it's going to do this or it's going to do that. They have goals, but at the end of the day, we still have to see if they can implement those goals into this update. Regardless, the hype cannot be understated and they might be purposely keeping information from being released to further fuel the hype and give them a bump as soon as the update is actually released. But that's just speculation. Don't listen to me. That's my own personal opinion. I think they already know it's going to be a pretty good update. They just don't want to give all of the details so when it finally comes out and it's so much better, people are going to be like, wow, this is really cool. And I think that's going to drive a lot of price growth. So let me know down in the comments section what you guys think. Will Uniswap go higher than $45 in 2021? Will it go lower than that? Or are you buying sushi instead? So let me know. I would love to hear from you. So if you guys found this video informative, then I hope you guys will consider subscribing to my page for more information dropped multiple times a week on real estate, stocks, crypto, and all other things personal finance. Also, if you guys could follow me on Instagram, I would greatly appreciate that. I'm posting on my story multiple times a day, just articles I'm seeing, stocks I'm looking at, crypto I'm looking at, all updates that I think would provide you value. Thank you guys for watching this video all the way through. See you soon.